to Rich and Bella Crafts. Rachel here and I hope you're all well. So I'm going to crack straight on today because I've got lots to get through and we've got quite an interesting tutorial to do for you today. But first of all, I just wanted to show you these wonderful decorations that we've been sent in. So these beauties that you see here on my desk, these are from Rose O'Keefe. Now Rose is the lady that won the A to Z uh, Christmas Crafts uh, Journal in the giveaway. Um, and look at the beautiful decorations that she sent us. So I'm going to just very quickly show you um, some examples of what she's done here. So aren't these lovely? Look, they've got little buttons on them, the little snowmen. So And they've got a beautiful glitter um, surface on them as well. Um, now I did have a giggle last night because I was trying to open this up to get it ready on my desk. So I was trying to save a bit of time this morning. Look at this little scarf. And she put a little note in saying that there were two, <coughs> excuse me, hidden paper clips. And I was looking and I thought, God, well, I say last night, early hours this morning was. I thought, I know it's late and I'm tired, but... <coughs> and then I finally found the first one. So here she's put a hidden paper clip on this one, look. So she's obviously joined um, those two there. And we've got these lovely buttons on the little hat. So they are just amazing. So there's a fab idea for all of you if you're looking to make your own decorations. Um, and then she's got this beautiful stock in here with this lovely little bell and a little rocking horse on here. And then inside she's put all these wonderful laminated um, little vintage toys. Aren't they fab? Look at those. So that's all in there, stuffed inside the stocking and they all just sit nicely in the top of there. Wow, I actually put them in really carefully for that last night. But there we are. So thank you for those rows because they are just amazing. Really lovely. There we go. And then the car goes in there like that. So I was looking, thinking, well, I can't see any other paper. And I kept going back away thinking, well, there's no paper clip on there. Look at this. Isn't that fab? So she stuck some of those little pegs. We've all got these little pegs in our boxes. We don't know what to do with them. Look at that. I thought that was amazing. So that made a lovely star hanging on the tree. So I thought well, that was brill but again i couldn't see another hidden paper clip and then <coughs> i picked this one up here then and then i could feel the paper clip inside and then i realized what she'd done is she's got two stockings here and we've got a hidden so this one goes over the top of the page how cute is that i love it because i want to put all these in a journal afterwards so that's just amazing so thank you so much for that rose and thank you for the lovely tag with the note on and a beautiful bit of lace so they're all ready now to go on our tree today to keep those pesky elves at bay. Okay, so the second package that I have here is from Lenore Schumann. I think, I hope I'm saying that right. Either I have to apologize, uh, we do apologize if I get any of your surnames wrong. Um, it's not intentional. I'm just trying to cut this now without catching that. There we go. Wow, look at these. Aren't they lush? Oh, look, <laughs> there's a little bit of holly on there. And they're 3D. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and there's a little pocket in the back. Look at that. Of course, you have a hidden pocket. These are fabulous. Oh, they are beautiful. Absolutely love them. And the gorgeous gems on there. Oh, thank you so much for that, Lenore. And thank you for your lovely card as well. They're just amazing. Thank you very much. And then the next gorgeous decoration we have has come from Christina Demiers. Um, and she has sent us in this beautiful Christmas tree. Lovely origami one. Look at that. And she's put all these lovely glitter bits in the bottom here. And the uh, the bit where the, the trunk goes. So you've got a bit of a, a shaker thing going on down there as well. But look at that. That's just amazing. I'm going to have to give these a try. I've done the flower ones, but I haven't done this style tree one yet. So I'll, I'll have to give those a go. But that is fab. So thank you so much for that, Christina. That is just lovely. Okay, and next we have Carolyn Freeman. Um, oh my goodness, what have we got in here? Oh gosh, look, it's one of those beautiful flowers we did the other day. Oh, isn't that lovely? I just love these flowers, I think they're just so pretty. Oh, and I like that, that's really interesting on there. Friendships, oh, that's lovely. Carolyn Freeman, oh wow. And look at this one, got a Christmas tree here. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh look, and it's a, another origami one, wow. That is just gorgeous. Oh, they are amazing. Thank you so much for those, Carolyn. Is it, I hope it's Carolyn. I hope I'm saying that right, lovely. Not, I hope it's not Caroline. And then we've got this beautiful little 3D effect bauble. And I will tie that twine up a bit later. Gosh, look at that. Isn't that stunning? 
Oh, well, they are fantastic. Thank you so much, those, Carolyn. They are lovely. Amazing. We'll get those over to our tree shortly. And then the next one we've got is from, and I'm doing it really carefully. I'm trying not to show any addresses. Uh, Nikki Black. Thank you, Nikki. Oh, my gosh. Look how she's written my name on there. Man, fabulous. Oh, Warwick and Canada. Love the stamps as well. Okay, so we've got our lovely ho, ho, ho with our bauble on the front. A lovely card. Cupcake liners make wonderful colours. Oh, amazing. Right, let's have a little look. We don't need, oh, look at this envelope. Oh, I love these envelopes. Absolutely love them. Okay, so what have we got? So, so these are our cupcake liners. So we can use these for collaging. Oh, these are pretty. And then in here, oh my goodness, we've got some lovely stamps. Oh, there's me talking about the stamps on the front. Look at those. Wow. And oh, they're all Christmas stamps. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Nikki. They are amazing. You just can't get stamps like this over here. They're, well, you're lucky you can get any Christmassy stamps now. Oh my gosh, these are stunning. Thank you so much. Right, I'm going to leave those out because I want to use those today. Okay, so what have, oh my word. Look at this. What was I saying to you all yesterday? Well, was it yesterday in the last video? That my word for the year is joy. It's like she knew, but she couldn't have possibly known because this was in the post when I said that the other day. Thank you so much. That's lovely. It's on both sides. It doesn't matter which way it falls. I can see the word. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That is lovely. Thank you for that, Nikki. Amazing. Okay, and I think we've got the last one now. Okay, before I show you what's in the envelope, I want to show you this. Um, because this package here has come from um, <coughs> Ellie. And Ellie is perry winkle matilda now ellie has just joined our design team um so she will be well she already has been she's she's just working up a storm over on her youtube channel so please make sure you get over and check her out she has uh, done a load of um design team videos already this month and i think she's only been doing it a week so she's just so fast she's amazing but this is uh was in with the parcel so i'm gonna I'm going to have a little go at this after, but how cute is that, the little gingerbread man? But she's also got an Etsy shop, so um, make sure you go over and check that out. If you watch the A to Z uh, of Christmas Crafts, I had a beautiful kit um, that I worked with. Some of the pages went into the um, giveaway journal, and it was a lovely blue uh, background, like a, a, a snowy sky, with the kittens, really cute kittens, do you remember? And they were like in stockings and stuff like that, with little Santa hats on. Well, that is Ellie's kit, so if you go and check that, I think she's also got a beautiful recipe kit on it as well. Um, but I'm going to have a little look at that later as well. So I may show you how I get on. <laughs> Fingers crossed to do all right. So I've torn this open just so for ease of access. And uh, oh, look at her lovely envelope. Isn't that cute? Oh, my goodness. What have we got in here? Right. That's okay. I'm sure there's nothing in there. Wow. I don't know where to start. Oh, look. Some more beautiful kittens. Am I like to write in thinking, Ellie, are these your lovely kittens? Look at that there. In this gorgeous snow globe. I love how you've done that. So that feels like laminate. And she's stitched around the top. Um, now, the other important thing as well, I know I mustn't forget to say this, um, Ellie has done uh, some tutorials on her YouTube uh, channel on making her decorations. She did drop that in a message to me. Um, oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you, Ellie. That's such a sweet note. Thank you very much. Um, oh, my goodness. Look at these. How cute is this? That's so much fun. I love it. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Now, my other half is going to love that because he's a painter and decorator. <laughs> so that's really funny. I just absolutely love that. I'm going to put that on the tree after and see if he spots that when he comes in. He'd be hiding his brushes from me now, won't he? Because he'd be thinking. <laughs> in fact, I think there are five of his brushes about this size on my. <laughs> side of my kitchen sink because he tends to come in wash them leave them in to dry and then I'm like oh will you take your brushes out I might stop saying that now look and oh my gosh how cute is that and look she's done all those little um I can't remember what the stuff's called somebody will tell me in a minute this stuff is it yeah this look aren't they lush and I think that's our poncetta there of our kitten oh, it's the bell I love it oh that's just so much fun I love that <laughs> did you know it I don't think I've told her either that my laugh's so that's quite funny oh my gosh how cute are these wow good grief oh look and this little truck look like the one in the kit oh that's fab oh i love it girls you're so much attention to details today it's unbelievable oh my goodness look at these 
how lovely are they? Oh, oh look, and the little gems on the wire. Oh, I'm gonna have to I hope these are in the tutorial. I'm gonna have to go and check this out now afterwards. I am so behind on my YouTube this month. So behind, it's unbelievable. They are beautiful. And we've got a beautiful bookmarker here, Friendship. Oh, oh, that is lovely. Oh, thank you so much, Ellie. These are amazing. Wow, look at this. Oh, right, go carefully now, Rachel. Don't go breaking the envelope. I just need to get under there. And, ah, there we go. I'm a bit fingers and thumbs this morning. What have we got in here? Oh, my, look at that. Isn't that a stunning tag? Or journaling card, even. That is beautiful. Oh, and she's got a lovely stamp on there as well. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. You spot me today, my lovely girl. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Wow. So, okay. What have, what have we got here then? So, she's got an envelope, which has been embossed. I can see the embossing on it. Now, have you embossed that with the ink? Well, I'm going to be asking lots of questions. You're going to have to put it down below because everyone's going to want to know how you've done this. I can see she's stamped uh, with a the script but she's got two different colors embossing on here and it feels like i can't describe it it's like almost like like smooth like a candle but i want to say that that's decoupage as i keep being told to say properly that's what that feels like on there because you've got these beautiful bright colors oh that is just stunning have you done a tutorial on this ellie if not you need to do one so we all know how to do this because this is beautiful I love this. I just can't go very soft it is. That is lovely. Oh my gosh. I shan't be using that. That's going to go up on my, my board. Because my uh, my room's in its process of being moved around. I'm, I'm a little tidier than I was yesterday, guys, but not quite there. Ellie, they are amazing. Thank you so much. Girls, you've been absolutely amazing today. Thank you ever so much for the decorations you've sent in. Um, <clears throat> we have got... What day are we even on today? I, oh, goodness, I don't even have a calendar. Oh, I do have a calendar. Right, so it is 16th today. We've got we've got about a week <coughs> left. <coughs> I'm sorry about the cough. We've got about a week left of the um, ELF giveaway um, challenge. I am sorry, I'm going to need to have drinks this morning. My I had the booster the other day, and my cough's come back for some strange reason now, so that's been a bit aggravating today. Plus, we've had the heating on, which never helps. Okay, so... Without further ado, what are we doing today? Well, I did mention, oh my goodness, probably a month ago now, but so much has happened since. Um, I haven't had a chance to revisit it. But I did mention to you all that I had been um, accepted onto the design team for Pink Monarch Prints. Very, very exciting moment. It was, it's been, it's been so much has gone on in the last month. And then, of course, I was ill and I was so frustrated because I just wanted to dive in and get on with it. But... Um, yeah, so I haven't really had much chance to tell you all about this because this is just, just, it, it's, it is, it's a really exciting moment when you get accepted onto the design team. Um, and it doesn't matter who you are, we all love working with um, each other's designs. And, you know, even if you design yourself, it, it's just, it's really inspiring working with um, other people's designs. And um, I've been a big fan of Pink Monarch Prints um, since I've started uh, journaling and I've followed her quite avidly. Um, I love her collage pages. I, I just find her style very inspiring. So, um, in fact, I, I'd applied and I'd quite forgotten that I had. And then when I had the <coughs> email through from, um, from Anna, I, I just was squealing. I was really confused at first because I thought, I don't remember doing this. <laughs> I don't remember applying. Did I apply? But yes, I did. And I went back and found my email. But oh my gosh, it's just been such a crazy few months. So, so exciting. So I'm going to show you today some of her papers and we are going to make a project using these papers. So the kit that I'm working with is her traditional Christmas kit. She's got three um, or four, actually, I think, uh, different kits on her shop. I'm going to link each one below that I'm using today so you'll be able to easily find them. Um, and she is amazing because, unlike myself, she always remembers to put her shop name on the bottom, which is really important. Um, and, you know, when you've got pages on your, your desk and lots of people do, you think, oh, where did I get these from? But you don't have that problem here because you always remember that they are Anna's beautiful pages. So um, lots of lovely words, lots of different fonts, lots of different labels, loving the labels. Um, and, and she's had a really exciting year, actually, because um, I know she's had some... Um, she had some exciting news earlier in the year uh, with Tim Holtz. So 
get over and have a look at her YouTube channel because the video was amazing and it, it just it made you smile because she's just, she's just lovely. So I'm going to show you some of the pages. Um, I've cut all my whites off already. You'll have seen some of these because I used this one, if you recognise this, um, and this one when I did the um, the giveaway journal last month. Um, absolutely love them. They're just beautiful. I just love the script on me and, and the way that it's, it's multi-directional. I think that's how you describe this page. In other words, it doesn't matter which way you put it. Uh, there's always something facing the right way. But it doesn't matter. It's not designed to be worried about that, you know. So if you want your pages up, right. And that's why I like them because that journal that I was using was oversized and I couldn't put just pages in that way. I was having to use them like this for a lot of it. So these were perfect. Um, and there's a few more here. And I printed some onto um, <clears throat> normal copy paper. And then some of them I have printed then onto... Um, 120 gsm because well two reasons firstly because i'm i need to add stability to the thing that i'm going to be making in a moment but secondly because it was what was in the printer because i just printed off one of our kits for um, a customer because we are now doing print and post with our kits so if you haven't seen that yet go and check that out on etsy oh i haven't cut that straight um, look at that page isn't that beautiful so i thought we continue with the poncetta theme it's, it seemed to have done well for us this month um, so these are some of the kit pages, um, but do go and check check it all out. I'm on um, on her Etsy shop. Uh, that is the traditional Christmas journal pages, and then I have some then of the others. I have some of the tags here. I've cut out some of them, so that's why I haven't got them all on sheets. But um, then there are also these amazing um, pockets um, that you can either put a label over or cut the windows out of. Um, Oh, there's my tag. So it's the tags I'm looking for. Sorry, I was doing this late last night. So there we are. You've got these here. So there's lots and lots of these. They match um, the um, journal pages. I have also got, and I've moved them now. Ah, oh, they were on my desk last night. Oh, I'll find them in a moment. Um, I've also got the envelopes. By the way, I've worked with one earlier in the week. So this one here. That I used to put the flower on. This is one of the um, envelopes. There's a whole kit of envelopes as well. So um, and also uh, Christmas cards. You've done traditional Christmas cards. So you've got the envelopes. You've got the Christmas cards. There's pockets. There's tags. There's words. Oh my gosh, it's just so much. Please, please go and check them out because um, it's just amazing. And I know once you get there, you'll get pretty distracted with all the other lovely kits that she's got on there too. So we've got these amazing tags, um, <laughs> which you can <clears throat> mix and match. I have cut all mine out, but you could, if you wanted to, um, <coughs> fold them to back, to back to back, you know, so you could fold that in half there and then you have instantly have them back to back. So that's why I haven't cut these out. But some of them <coughs> are shaped like um, journaling cards. So they're rounded at the top. I mean, if you want to make them into tags, you've only just got to snip the top. But you'll see with these ones here, look, um, these are rounded off here at the top. So um, also equally would make ideal pockets or tuck spots. They're just really versatile. So I just love the way that she's done those because it gives you lots and lots of options there. Um, and yeah, we're going to use some of these amazing pockets as well after. So without further ado, let's get to what we're going to do today. Um, I haven't cut all of these out yet because as you know, I do tend to cut what I need from um, label and word sheets because otherwise they just get lost on my desk. So. I like to try and keep them together and I, I'll cut out as I go with those. Um, there's also um, these lovely pockets as well. Um, and, oh, I keep forgetting what these are called. I think labels, I think. Uh, I think it's, it's the pocket and label kit. So, again, I will put all the tags in below. But these are what we're going to be working with today. Um, and look at these gorgeous little t uh, tags here as well. Aren't these beautiful? Just so much lovely, lovely, lovely stuff to look at. So, what we're going to do today is... We're going to make a, um, oh, what are we going to call it? I don't want to call it a file folder because it's not really a file folder, but it's it's, it's a bit of a, a flip, um, a flip file mini journal thing. And we're going to collage with these pages. Um, and I've got just a menagerie of envelopes here. Um, I had, oh, there's another one there. That's another one of those lovely um, pockets. So I'll show you in a minute how we're going to use that in here. Um, but obviously in my clearing out process yesterday, I've come across lots and lots of um, just envelopes. So I've grabbed a few in different sizes and I thought we're just going to work our way through this and we're going to see how it goes. 
So the structure of um, the, we're going to call it a, um, oh, let's call it a file journal, shall we, for now? I'll come up with something snazzy at the end, I'm sure. The structure of it, I have just got a brown paper bag. The brown paper bag did have little handles on it. It's like a lunch bag, uh, which I've taken off because they would have just impeded what we're doing. Um, and we're going to be collaging over the top. I'm not going to stick the end down. We're going to keep that and utilise that as a pocket. And also we will have um, envelopes um, attached to that. Um, I will try to clip out as much as I can when I'm cutting paper and stuff. So you don't have to be bored while I'm doing that. So we have glue. We have glue. We have scissors. I don't think I'm going to need anything else. Maybe a ruler. So I can tear. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so the first thing that we're going to do is just look at the structure of how we're going to put this together. So <clears throat> what I kind of had in mind was... Um, I've got this larger envelope here. So obviously this is too big. I can't have that just poking out the top. It's going to look quite obscure. So what I plan to do is to cut that down. And then I'm going to use the fold. And I'm going to... With the, 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 the lunch bag, you've got this like <clears throat> little bit of space here. So rather than stick that down, I'm going to actually utilise that. And I'm going to use the fold bit and pop that under there like that. But I am not going to use it as a side tuck. I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to have it as a, a top pocket so that we can put a nice large tag in there. But that will then also be, um, will, will act as, as like another page. So that will go in there. So I think I'm going to do that now. I am quite tempted actually to collage in place because there are going to be areas where I'm going to go straight across. So let me just grab my pencil and I will cut this down. So let's just look at the fine line up there. And the one thing I will say about these brown paper bags is they don't um they don't fold well. So you need to just take a line and work with it and just make it, make sure everything just looks good to the eye because it's no good measuring this, measuring that. You need to cut things in place because, um, you know, sometimes there's a bit of a curve on that side or like here, there's the way that the hinge sits there. So, you know, you need to just work with, with it in place, I find. Um, and it's just the, you know, the tidiest way to do it really. Um, okay, so let me just cut this a second. There we go. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Right, so that's the first part. I know you're thinking, but it's jutting out. Trust me, it doesn't matter. It's going to be fine. Um, we're going to you'll open this like this and then that will go to the side like that well it'll probably open with it won't it and then you can flap this back then um we're going to shut that down in a moment and then we're going to put some um uh, collage across the, 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 the that section there and then we'll collage down there um but that will act then as a page in itself but it's also bringing out the length of the journal and you'll see why i want to do that in a moment so I'm just going to put that there for a moment because I just figured let's get all these into place. Now these are going to go on the back. So let's go straight to the back page. I'll come back to those in a second. Um, now this one here, I am going to put to my, this is the, this is the very back now. So I'm going to just simply tuck this in. So I'm going to in my bag and I tuck that in there. But I'm not going to tuck the uh, the flip. Oh, what do you call that? The envelope flap, that's the word. It's all flips and flaps, isn't it? I'm not going to butt that right up against there because the envelope is slightly long. So obviously you don't have the envelopes I have. If you are crafting along, you will have your own envelopes. You need to make the sizes and the shape work for you. If you don't have a brown paper bag, simply get... Um, you could do this with a file folder. You could do this with um, a, a soft cover of a book you could do this with some cardstock you know it, and it would have the same effect um you, you know you could have a two fold of cardstock you know work with what you've got for for your base but if you do have a sandwich bag obviously this is how i'm, I'm kind of utilizing mine but don't feel stuck that if you don't have a bag like i've got that you can't make this structure because you can because if you don't have that fold at the front there um and you're using just a normal brown paper bag 
you can just stick that in place with washi tape it really won't matter okay um you just need to kind of adapt it so that it can work for you so don't get too stuck in kind of the way that i'm doing it i'm just working with what i've got so you know that's what it's all about at the end of the day work with what we've got so i this this here needs to be and it's important that this is flush here because obviously when you want to open it up you don't want then the envelope hanging over and dragging back so i'm only going to stick that just a little bit of the way in so i'm going to just do that now and i'm going to use the old uhu because if i do make a a boo-boo at this point you have a couple of minutes with uhu to undo whereas i find once the fabric tax on that's it it's on so let's just wiggle that into place so i'm popping this into the first fold obviously on the back fold of the uh of my bag and i'm going to just pop that there in it and i just want to wiggle it into place here before i firm it down does that look straight yep near as damn it say okay let's just smooth that down there now and hopefully that will have gone into shape and not stuck together oh, there we are right okay so i did over glue a bit there so just kind of watch out for that guys just a, just a, just a smidgen of glue that's all right that'll dry now in a sec so there we go so as it is it was i did only need the, a very small part of the wow well, it's about what is that about a centimeter say of the but that means now i can open this and it's not going to get in the way now in case you hadn't guessed what i'm about to do now i'm going to do the same now but on this side so i'm going to open this up here i'm going to pop that there like that and again, using the same um, process that we did on the back because um, we don't want this to get in the way when we need to close it. So we need to make sure that there's space here on the hinge for that to um, open and close. And also, I'm going to be putting other papers in there afterwards, so we need to make sure that there's room in there for that too. So yeah, that looks good to me. Um, so I'm going to just glue that into place less glue this time because as we know i put too much on the first one so here we go so if i line that up now before i press it down there we go that looks pretty tidy to me and it folds over nicely yes amazing okay so that's that part of the structure done plus we still now have our handy little tuck area in there um i'm hanging off from gluing this one in place for a second um so now we're going to go to the front of the um file folder flip journal thing of our journal we'll call it just call it our journal shall we um and i got an envelope here i have an envelope here and i have an envelope here oh i love this one it's so cute so we're going to start with this one here so this is an, uh, me reusing an envelope that mum has sent some stamps to me in by the looks of it <laughs> she's so organized she's amazing so that will just stick nicely like that on the back there um now again i'm not going to use the envelope here because as this gets thicker me getting access in and out of there is going to be pretty much non-existent so what we are going to do is we're going to open the top before um we stick it on and then that way i can um put a divot in there afterwards and we'll be able to use it as a top pocket so i'm just going to simply slice off the very 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 smidgen end of it there we go hopefully that will be enough to have yes there we are so now we've got that at the top and then um this will seal well i won't need to seal it it'll be sealed when i collage over it <coughs> excuse me um and then but just be careful when you're doing this that you don't stick down the envelope that's on the back so this needs to go on the inside here Okay. Ooh, I'm still sticking there. Um, so that needs to go on the inside there, all right? So that's kind of why with this, I think it's better off 
doing all the collaging after all the envelopes are in place because you're going to want to cover over these these folds so you know let's get the structure right first and then um we'll do our glue in then after so now we're going to take this envelope here <coughs> excuse me and this is going to be the same here and i'm going to put that pretty much in the center there i think um but again i'm going to jet this out so let me just find where that went there you know i am wondering if i might move that fold in fact i think that'll be all right yeah, that'll be fine right so this now we've got room to play with here so i can have that out i think i'm gonna go for about the so that we can see because obviously the idea of this is that you have that effect of um the layering so that you can see you've got you know um one and, and again using the beautiful papers you know you're going to use different papers so you want to be able to see all of your envelopes so that's why you, you kind of need to have a play about with the ones at the front um before anything gets stuck down firmly so that you can get an idea of how much you want on show because i quite like that the way that kind of layers over there because obviously that's going to be the inside but there are bits then going on here at the front so you'll know to open that bit and and so on so as long as i've got just enough there to to stick that into place oh that's going to be slim there as well but i think it'll be all right um and like i said we'll be collaging over the top so that will make it a bit studier um and then our little envelope then which i think we're going to put i was going to put the little envelope here and have it like that but i'm just wondering if it might be better here no, I'm going to put it there. I like it. I like the feel that it kind of closes the journal. Does that make sense? So, and we, we'll probably put a closure then on this and, you know, I can tie it round then or something like that. So I'll put a, a, um, a thing in that. Um, I need to now just open the tops because as I said, I'm not going to be using any of these as side access. Um, they, they're all going to open, but the, the tuck pocket will be in the top. So... <clears throat> I'm just going to do the same with this one as I did with that one. And we're going to just take an absolute smidgen off the top. There we go. That's fine. And that will stick like that. Well, and then the same with this little tiny envelope here, which is just so darn cute. I love it. And as I say, just a smidgen off the top there. Just to just open that up, that access. There we go. Okay. So that then will go in place there. Okay, I think we're, we're set here. I can start gluing. Oh, wait a second. No, I can't. Right, and I'll tell you why I'm going to pause because. <clears throat> Bearing in mind now, obviously that's going to be stuck down with paper, so we've got a pocket in the top. But I wanted to add in one of these. Now, the great thing about these uh, pockets here from Anna's kit is that she includes the pocket with these great flaps. So you can integrate these into one of these perfectly because they're providing you with these flaps. Because obviously you don't have to use the flap to make the pocket. It's just a nice addition because it does make it easier when you're sliding things in there. But it's no harm to leave one hanging out to utilise it as another flip. So I'm just going to have a quick look. So what we could do, we could either have it, put that one in there. We could either have it like this. So you'll have that there. If I do that, that's not going to fold. Well, it would have to be like right up there, but I'm just thinking this might give me issues when it comes to um, collaging, if I've got that stuck right in the middle there. So um, maybe not there. Um, or we could turn it this way and have it here. But again, we're going to have to be really careful there because I don't want it hanging over the edge. Obviously, I can cut it down and make it whatever size I want um, because it's open on that end. But if I do that, that will then also provide 
um, a little bit more stability to this envelope behind because obviously we need that to kind of hang out there don't we because we want that kind of like layer effect going on and if I do that oh my hands are shaking what's that all about and then we have that to kind of close that then I'm thinking we might put that further up because obviously I don't need to collage that piece because we've already got fabulous pattern on it haven't we um so then we'll go like this pocket on the top like this pocket on the top like this and then we can either stitch that pocket down or glue that pocket down there and have the opening in the top there or we can have the opening there which i think actually might be quite cool because i mean you can have a pulley out long tag in there then can we yeah i like that and then we'll open that up and we'll have a pocket in the top there and then whatever we want to add to this bit here and then we'll just fold it back down down see now when you're making these because if you, you guys i hope you're going to have a go and craft along but um you know yours doesn't need to be like mine you've just got to audition all these pieces and think like what works for me because your envelopes are going to be different shaped to mine unless by some amazing chance you actually have all the same size envelopes that i have which is why i haven't given you any sizes because i've got a complete you know collection of all different shapes and sizes um and i'm just trying to show you that anything will work and then you'll open that like that obviously all that will be hidden away under there like that and we'll collage all the way out so that'll have a nice big piece across it and it'll stabilize all of that and then we'll have this one here then with a nice big long pocket then so you have a big journaling card in there if you wanted to and then that will flip over there like that and then in here we're going to have some pages so it's me turning me coffee dye papers there look and then at the back then you'll have another pocket which i wonder hmm, do we want to open that? i'm not going to decide on that yet we'll come back to that i'm not sure whether to make that open that way or that way um we'll see i may even actually use that fold and put some pages in there so oh that's a good idea we could do that okay and then here we've got this lovely space then for whatever we want and i'm going to try if i can and collage a bit in there we'll see how that goes and then on the back obviously that will be collaged there so you won't see the flips and the flaps and the folds um and then you'll have um a pocket on the back there which i may turn around and do when I'll see it to the other side, but we can come back to that later. Yeah, I like that. Right, let's glue these down. Before I change my mind, yeah, I would like that very much. So let's start with this one here, because it keeps jumping about and it's being a bit naughty. So you get down there. So you see what I mean like about how it, it kind of rides up a bit, so it doesn't really too much. Just make sure that the tops are nice and neat and tidy. Make sure it looks straight. You don't want it kind of veering off. But um, they are a bit of a pain for being <coughs> uneven. Okay. So what was next? It was this one next, wasn't it? No, I think it's going to be this one next, actually. Now, I'm going to just cut a little bit off the end of it um, because, actually, one moment. Let me just check. I might cut them all out. I'm just wondering. Ooh, I think I might put that one there. Feels like two. So I know my paper's thick, it's not that thick. Oh, actually, oh no, I think that one. Because I think that'll be quite, be a bit brighter on the front. I haven't got to do anything then to that one, have I? Yeah, let's go with that one. Right, so we're going to use that fold there. Let me just quickly fold that down. there. And then... 
know what? I think I'm going to use that side because that's really lovely too. So I'm going to just make sure there's no white overhanging because it won't make any difference because I'm using the end flat, aren't I? So it doesn't matter if I want to use the front or the back. Um, but I really like that, but I, I like the red. And I'm just thinking the red is lower down on this one, but I want that red to show on here. So I'm going to use that bit there. And then I'm going to have that hanging out. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll have to just fold it that way. That's okay. Because it's not going to be seen anyway. So it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just trim that off. There we are. So that then will go under there. And that will go there like that. I can either have it all the way or we can have it like that. Well, that's better actually, because I... So, first tip, don't make the mistake I made. Ink all of your envelopes and your bag or card slot, whatever you're going to use for the centre of your um, journal, ink it all before you put it together. Because that was really difficult then, try to ink all of that in place. I'd forgotten I'd meant to do that. So, ink everything first. Um, and then it'll be a lot easier then once you put it together because you won't have to then go around trying to do everything. So, that is the structure completed now today so i'm going to just go through that again so we've got flap flap top pocket top pocket even top pocket flap side tuck there do you know from all from it i thought i'd glue that shut then um pocket top pocket and then we've got the front there to do with whatever takes our fancy at the time close those up then open it up a large top pocket here this will all be collaged across and then you can close that flap journal pages will be in here and then another flap we'll have a pocket of some sort here I have not yet decided how I'm going to do that um, and then we'll open this up nice long pocket inside and then we'll go to the back and then there'll be another pocket of some sort there and I'm sure we'll put another one here this is going to turn into a book of pockets I can see it um but yeah I'm really pleased with that so I'm going to leave it there today because that's one video is long enough um and then when you come back and join me for the next video we will put the um beautiful pages onto um our journal okay thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it didn't go too fast for you um and if you've got any questions please pop them uh, down in the description box below um, and I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible but thank you for joining me see you all soon bye now